Welcome back to my channel everybody. My name is Septian. If this is your first time here, I review True Wireless Earbuds and In-Ear Monitors. And today, I'm going to be doing a review of the JLab Go Air Pop True Wireless Earbuds. Now the price on these is $20 on Amazon. Now I bought these directly from JLab.com. It took them forever and a day to ship them out to me, but it actually wasn't their fault. There was some type of delay with the shipping. It wasn't JLab's fault. I fully blame FedEx. They are Satan. Um, the features. Get 32 hours of total play time. You get full touch controls, and that's including volume. You get a stereo mono mode. You have IPX4 sweat resistant uh, water, water rating. IP rating, excuse me. You get some EQ settings that are custom with the buds. You also have auto connect. So whatever device that you've already paired them to, once you open up the lid, they'll automatically connect to that device. You also got a built-in charging cable right here on the bottom. So you don't have to worry about a brick. But I'm always been skeptical skeptical about the uh these cables that are built in hopefully it'll last uh, only time will tell you get six millimeter dynamic drivers inside you get a frequency response for 20 Hertz the 20,000 Hertz you get Bluetooth 5.1 which supports SPC and AAC and you get a 16 ohms impedance now these come in multiple colors I forgot to mention that these are the slate. You also have lilac, rose, teal, and black. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick little unboxing. Because I did an unboxing of these, but I was a little irate at the time of unboxing that video, doing that video. So now that I've been calmed down, let me go ahead and just show you what would come inside. So when you open up the box, earbuds will be right here and turn it over on the back turn that flap you get a quick start guide just like the the JLab Go Air ANC buds that I reviewed already on my channel you also get well this would be a charging cable right here but right here this is the part that really had me scratching my head so inside this little flap you will find let me see if I can get it to come open you will find the silicone tips. So you got small, medium, and large. The mediums come on by default. And the reason why the mediums are on here is because I'm open up the case. I got some spin fits on. These are the CP360s in large. I like the way these uh, complement the color of the earbuds. Kind of the same color, although it's light blue. So, that's it for the unboxing. And I'll give you a mic test or a quality mic test of the earbuds right now. This is a mic test of the JLab Go Air Pop True Wireless Earbuds. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. I'm testing the mics in a quiet environment. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of the sound. Now let's go ahead and just go over the uh, custom EQ settings for a minute. You get three, you get bass boost, you get balanced, and you get JLab signature. Now the bass boost, it as the name implies, it amplifies the bass and the sub bass. Now it's bass, yeah, yeah, I can't talk. It's best for working out and fitness and the music types that it'll work with is rap and electronic music. Now balanced is as the name suggests is a balanced sound signature it's an even sound across all the frequencies it's best for podcasts audiobooks classical musics music types that it'll work with is classical music now you have the last one is JLab signature it amplifies the vocals and the bass and it's best for pretty much all music and music types all music pop rock country electronic and more and JLab signature has always been my favorite because it's more of a a flat neutral sounding when you turn on JLab signature. I like that the best. Now, as far as battery, 
you get eight hours on a single charge with average use. In my experience, I've been getting around maybe seven and a half because I listen to these a little louder. You also get 24 hours of additional, uh, 24 uh, additional hours with the with the case. The standby time with these buds are 60 hours, and the battery on the earbuds is 43 milliamps, and the battery on the case is 350. And the earbuds, the case will charge the earbuds from zero to 60 in about two hours. <clears throat> you have a, a single light on the front here. So when it is a solid red, the case is at 100 to 25%. When the light blinks red four times, the case has less than 25% of battery life. So that would be a good time to go ahead and charge them. Now for the controls. As I mentioned earlier, you have full touch controls that control everything. No, you need to use your phone. So a single tap on the left is volume down. Single tap on the right, volume up. Pause and play on the right is pause and, pause and play on the right is double tap. To activate uh, your voice assistant, that's a double tap on the left. N next track is a long press on the right. Previous track is a long press on the left. Answer a call is a single tap on either earbud. Hang up a call is a double tap on either earbud. If you want to reject an incoming call, that is a long press on either earbud. And to activate the cycle through the, the EQ uh, settings, it's a triple tap on either earbud. Now, as far as the sound quality and the volume, for $20 earbuds, these get pretty loud. Have a really good um, sound quality across all music genres. Um, as I said, you get, you know, uh, J Lab signature. So, depending on what sound uh, EQ setting you use, that will be so pretty much with these earbuds, since they have the EQ settings, you'll get a B shaped or a flat neutral sound or a W shape. So, the sound quality really depends on those EQ settings. I think by the fault it's on J Lab Signature, which is my favorite. And I went through the bass boost. Bass boost, it you know makes the buds a little more uh, darker sounding when you uh, have that turned on. Balance is more flat, although the mids are a little more present and balanced. And J Lab Signature is pretty much like a W. I like that. Uh, EQ setting the met the best that's this my preference so it really depends on what your preference is now to compare these earbuds with some other earbuds that I have I got some I got the Soundcore Life P2 Mini hopefully these are the Life P nope those are the those are the Life P3s where are the Life ah oh, here we go where they at? I got so many earbuds okay Soundcore Life P2 uh, Mini. These are quite similar as far as uh, features. Although you don't get volume control on the Life P2 Minis. You do get around the same battery life. You do get around the same uh, sound quality because you have uh, custom EQ settings on these as well. Uh, no wireless charging on either of these earbuds. And sad to say but these also are similar with uh, no app support so in conclusion if you're looking for some dirt cheap earbuds from a reputable uh, brand that's known to make good quality products get these I mean they fit comfortably in the ear you know I love a nice good dot style and these the silicone tips that come with the buds they do fit in my ears, although the medium ones fit a little bit better than the large and the small. You can forget about it with my medium size ear holes. So, yeah, these are pretty good. I like them and they come in different colors so you can match, you know, your your match your style, whatever style you like, whether you like red, black, pink or, you know, lilac. So, yeah, this has been the review of the J. Whether you like.